Nice going, Beck. You got out of the house. The hard part's over. Sorry you can't come in. My parents have people over. No prob. Hey, listen. Want to go to a party tomorrow night? Yeah, that'd be great. Cool. I'll pick you up at 7. Seven. 7's great, Johnny. Think it'll be cool with your parents? My parents are very cool. They don't tell me what to do. Cool. Becky, get your butt in the house now! <laughs> Mother? Now. Roseanne Connor. Nice to meet you. You know, um, you're gonna have to untie me here. It's gonna be kind of a mess. <laughs> Listen, I know it's none of my business. But how do you guys know the money's even out here? Natasha has a little sister, Amy, in Mobile. As she was dying, I told her I'd make sure she got her share of the money. Oh. She trusted you, huh? You're a good kid, Roxanne. You shouldn't be with a guy like Cyrus. How'd that happen? I was in my last year at Tulane. I was a little lost. A little bored. I went to this bar one night looking for something different, something wild, something bad. Oh, and you got a combination of all three. Yeah, he's been an experience. I'd say that. You know, experience is one thing. But you have, you've had three years to think about it. I mean, why go back with him? Who says I'm going back to him? Oh, come on. You called him on my cell phone, didn't you? Didn't you? He's coming to pick you up. I don't know. He wasn't there, so I left a message. Hmm. <sighs> you know, if, if I don't get a call off to someone by the end of the day, I'm going to be in pretty bad shape myself. If you want to do some good with that cellular phone, you could call my bookie. You want me to make a bet for you? Yeah, it's 50 bucks on Destrahan and the night at fairgrounds. I never fired. Drawn but not fired. It's a standard procedure. It's okay. It's okay. Were there any witnesses? We're going to need to seal off this lot. What time you told you what happened here? Whose side are you on? I didn't kill him. That's what I told IA. It's what I told my superior. It's what I'm telling you. Officer Tyner, your gun. There's a bullet missing from the magazine. I don't top off. I know it's against regulation, but the 14th bullet puts pressure on the spring and the gun can jam. Can anyone confirm your story? It's not a story. Well, and no, I don't tell people how I carry, do you? Check the other magazines. I what the hell's going on here? We're just having a talk with Officer Tyner here. Next time, don't start without me. I'm the union rep on this one. Then you should know. Tyner's magazine, one bullet shy. Is the expended round still missing? Yeah, it's not in the body. Bullets around point, wound was a through and through. I did not fire a single round. And with a record like yours, we're supposed to just take you at your word? Five civilian complaints. Three for excessive force. Two IA investigations. I was cleared. I'm sure you were. Uh, what is that supposed to mean? I don't have to take this crap. I, no. I don't... So now, so now. What you do need is for these guys to go out and find the missing bullet. So what are you waiting for? I guess it's a good thing I sealed off that crime scene. 